Hello friends, my name is Cass, and today I forget my intro. <laughs> today we're six days or seven days or I don't know how long into a heat wave, um, which means it's unbearable <laughs> inside as well as outside during the day. And <laughs> I have decided, um, especially because we don't have air conditioning. Anyway, I have decided that I'm going to try to cope with that by reading all of the Empire of Gold um, today. Um, this book is like 750 pages, so I don't know how easy that's going to be. This might be a 24 hour read at all. I tend to read close to 100 pages an hour. That's the metric I go by. It's a little bit less. This is 750 pages. I should be able to do that in eight hours of reading. Pro. Maybe this is a 12 hour read as well. What time is it? It's a quarter to nine. Um, and I'm about to start reading. Well, not yet. I'm first going to feed our neighbor's cat um, because our neighbors are on holiday. And um, my dad normally feeds the cat, but um, my family's come today and I like feeding the cat because it means I get to pet the cat. Hello, it's now actually nine. I made breakfast. I'm about to start reading. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's supposed to be a reading vlog. But I'm gonna tell you about this fucking cat because he is the cutest animal that's ever born. He is a, a Siamese cat called Charlie and he is the sweetest. Like, this cat purrs <laughs> so much and so quickly, which is so cute because a lot of cats I've ever known are just like, yeah, I'll tolerate you petting me. This cat, where it's like literally like I just gave him a few like little scratches and he's just like, yes. Yes, purring immediately. That just starts getting louder as you pet him more. It warms my heart and I wish I had a cat. But we can't have pets because my mom <laughs> is allergic to pets. And in my apartment, we're not allowed pets. Even though our landlord like has never come by. So we could very much stealth in a cat. And... Um, as every day that goes by, my roommates and I get more tempted to just get a cat. Uh, but we won't. We'll try not to. Um, yeah, that cat is adorable. If I think about it, I didn't have my phone with me now. If he's still like that, like wanting to be pet tonight when I go to feed him, uh, I will try to film. <laughs> is, that, is that unethical to film other people's cats? in their house maybe i don't know we'll see what happens <laughs> i'm gonna eat breakfast and start reading hello uh it's a little bit past 11 and i just finished part one of the empire of gold um that far about 200 pages in and i'm really loving it like it is so good and i just realized i don't i haven't told you what this is about i don't um, this is the third book in the Dave Bat trilogy. <laughs> the first book is about a girl called Nari, who's a healer in Ka Cairo. Ka Cairo is Cairo is how we say it in Dutch, but I think it's Cairo in English. Um, she uh, in eighteen nineteenth century eighteen hundred. Um, she accidentally she's a con artist and a thief as well as a healer, and she accidentally summons a jinn um in a like healing ritual that's fake um accidentally someone's a real ass gin um deva i guess um called dara he they get almost killed i think and he introduces her to devabad which is a city um like a capital city of the jinn world which is ruled um by the quad I don't know how to pronounce their names. Um, and she gets kind of thrust into that life because it is revealed that she is a Nahid, which is a, a healer, like someone that has healing magic. And she um, is reinstated. She's instated in that position of power. Um, but her family is kind of at odds with the ruling family. So follows her and Dara trying to gain power in in this city and also help while also following alizad who's um the pr 
prints. Uh, there's a lot of court politics, there's a lot of magic. The, the world building is incredibly good. And I love the court politics in this. Like, it's all incredible and the characters are all very good. Like, all of them are... I don't know, they're just very realistic characters. They, though they are not always likeable, they are extremely lovable. <laughs> and I care so much about all of them. But it's it's difficult, especially because it makes it means that if he admits that what he's doing or what Nari's mom is doing is wrong, that makes him into the monster that everyone thinks he is. This book is so incredibly good at like the intricacies of human morality and trauma and politics and I am extremely loving it um, and I'm gonna get something to drink and then continue on reading. These two nerds are pining for each other so hard. It's so funny. And they've been pining, like there's been tensions for like five years at this point. <laughs> but like Ali's just starting to realize that he has feelings um for Nari and he's like looking at her hair like when she takes down her hair when she's like thinking things and he's like fuck she's he's like oh shit looking at her hair and then like two pages later he's just been swimming and she's like staring at his ass being like mm, don't mind if I do shit I shouldn't <laughs> I like them so much I really want them to get together in the first book I was really like, ugh, like, I can see where this is going, like, you know, there's gonna be a love triangle with Daria and Ali, and it's gonna be annoying, um, but it wasn't, because Nari and Ali really just became best friends, and like, yeah, there were some romantic tensions, but neither of them acted on it, because they are normal human beings, um, so now, just, like, they're vaguely letting themselves like Ali's trying to fight it but I think Nari's trying to let herself a little bit because Dara's kind of seen as the villain now even though he has good in him but like Nari's trying to move away from that um and she knows he's alive now which kind of makes it better I guess um so now I'm like I don't want the relationship drama but I can see this going going well um yeah i don't know um i'm i'm hoping it will go well it's like two pages later and <laughs> nari uses the word cloud like i use my religious cloud to build a hospital or some shit and i had never heard that word outside of like meaning internet fame and maybe that's like non-native english speaker things um, but it's so strange to hear Nari say it in, like, the 19th century. Um, yeah. It's another... Okay. It's another page later. Okay. It's another, like, page later. But this bit, it's so funny. <laughs> Nari is, like, feeling... Ali's heart, I think about him. Oh, he's so he's so fit. Um and like she's trying to not think about it. She goes, Well formed or not, Ali said Al Qatani had probably never allowed himself an impure thought. Impure thought. A shame. Now narrated flesh, fighting the urge to slap some sins into herself. No more journeying with attractive warriors on dangerous quests after this. She clearly had a problem. That's so funny. <laughs> We're slowing down significantly. <laughs> um, it's 12.30. I read another 50 pages and took a, a small dip in our tiny swimming pool, which I did not film because I didn't want anyone to be gross. I, I do not have married water powers, in case you were wondering. Always good to check if your water bendings come through. Um, it hasn't. Um, so it's now 12.30. I'm, I'm going to be do a run to my apartment at in an hour to be there in an hour so i have to leave in like 40 minutes 45 minutes um to give my roommate a birthday present um and grab a book from there maybe 
and what are my plans and what are my roommates plans these things are important <laughs> so i have like 40 ish minutes to do that i need to get um dressed and i should probably have lunch um before i go i don't know what i'm gonna do but guess i'll update yeah hello you may think it's barely moments later than the last time i saw you but it's in fact 2 30 now <laughs> Um, I went, uh, water. um, I went to my apartment to give the present to my roommate and to one of my plants. And, um, my car doesn't have air conditioning. So, like, my hair was wet the last time you saw me, right? And my hair notoriously dries extremely slowly. But I was, like, in the car with the windows down on the highway for, like, 20 minutes. And my hair was dry. <laughs> so hot it was unbearably hot there um also in the car back so i immediately had to take dip in the pool again um so my eyes look a little bit red like my eyelids is it because my my obsessions and i want <laughs> i wanted to tell you this he told me to wash my eyes with soap like with shampoo for a week which like such like a strange thing for a medical professional to tell you to do, right? Like, I generally thought it was a joke for one second because he has a bad sense of humor and then he was like, no, this is a serious thing you should do. And I was like, okay. So I've been doing it for a few days now and like my eyes feel extremely dry and unpleasant. But I hope it's doing something good. It feels like strange advice, right? Is it, it feels like something you shouldn't do, right? <laughs> This is going quite a bit slower than I uh, would have hoped. <laughs> it is 4.30 currently and I am halfway through the book. Um, it's extremely good. <laughs> I'm having the best time. This is either going to be a 12 hour readathon or a 24 hour one. Uh, but either way I'm reading this book. <laughs> I'm finishing it soon, as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I love all of the characters so dearly. We're, we're getting back to a few of the characters that I missed and I I adore them and it's great. What are you doing, baby? You doing good? We're gonna keep it low key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tied you to me. I'm happy in your company with no emotion Cause my love deserves to be free I never wanna look at a house in the garden I never wanna lock you down I know you're not mine, it's just my turn But we can still have fun for now Trust me, consider your message received. Oh my god, I mean, ooh, how do I feel about, I don't know. Yeah, I like, I mean, I feel bad for Dara, but also, fucking go a month to do, like, hell yeah, to rebellion. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> this is also not a great angle for me, I realize, but. so much attention and when you're moving in another direction don't worry i get it i meant what i said when i said it lady i never want to look at a house in the garden i never want to lock you down i know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun for now no, I never want to play happy families with you, but I like having you. I'm afraid that the Ifrit are just gonna show up and murder him now. Because that's pretty likely to happen. But I really don't want it to happen. Go around. I'm fully aware this oh, is a flash in the pan, but we can still have fun for now. Yeah, we can still have fun for now. Still have fun for now. Everything.
everything is going quite poorly right now, but, but, Ali's just been told she needs to take out part of one of his ribs, and, um, his reaction is, oh, I would have thought I needed those. I'm in love with this man. <laughs> That's an amazing comment. No babies, you don't need all of your <laughs> Ask fucking John Magnus Archives, uh, Jonathan Sims. You don't need all of your ribs that much. <laughs> you need your heart, though. Like, that's the more important bit. Like, your ribs not that essential. <laughs> Hello. It is currently close to 8 o'clock. I am just hit page 500, so I am not going to do this in in 12 hours. Um, so making it a 24 hour real fun, I guess. Um, I'll just sleep. I'll try to see how far I get before I go to bed, and if I can't do it before I go to bed, I will finish it before 9am tomorrow. Um, I just went for another tiny dip in the pool while it is, it's currently raining and you may be able to hear, hear the thunder in the background because that's going on, um, which is a very <laughs> comforting place to swim. Um, you shouldn't swim in large open spaces um, during a thunderstorm. However, this pool is so small that the, the surface area really like isn't going to be a problem. Um, <laughs> but it's very something about. Swimming in the rain always makes it so comforting. And now, also, especially with the thunder going on, like that was a good moment. Um, I am sitting outside now. It's raining, it's only raining a little bit. So I'm gonna sit here to read. Um, hope that doesn't fuck with my book. Hello, it's about 11 now and I'm about to go to bed. I reached page 650, which means that I still I have about 100 pages to go, which I will read tomorrow, making this officially 24 hour read. <laughs> um, it's, it's so good. This book has broken me. I have cried because there was a part where just like it brought all the characters to their low, not their lowest moment, but like the thing that would have broken them happened to, to all three of them. Get, oh, a bunch of the main characters like every like their worst nightmares became reality and that was so extremely painful which makes me almost glad for the part where I'm now where it's kind of like the main the last I hope the last the final battle is is starting and it's like pandemonium all around um but at this point they can only die and yes that feels terrible and I would hate it because I'd love all of these characters but at least, like, their sacrifices will, hopefully, probably, be worth it. So, even though, like, bad things are going to happen and people that I care about are probably going to die, yeah, they're going to die. Um, I'm still glad to be at this point and this is a peaceful point where I can just, right before the thick of the last battle, I can go to bed. I did it. It's quarter to nine, and I finished the King of the Empire of Gold. I forgot what it was called, but I did it. I'm so happy. Everyone's okay. Well, largely everyone's okay. Largely everyone's getting to a point where they will be okay. <laughs> Made me only very happy. All right, final thoughts for this video. I think instead of rambling about my thoughts too much now i might do a series review video like i've done a few of those on my channel and i'd really like to do one for this series because it's been a while and i really like doing those videos um but i will say i really love this book um i'm gonna grab it it was so good i was worried for a while when everything was going wrong I was always pretty confident that it was going to be a semblance of a happy ending at the end. I didn't think um, she would let like evil win, 
but I was very worried about the price we would have to pay for for diaper bed. And I think I think it was the right amount. <laughs> like I am very content and very happy with this ending. I was extremely scared that a lot of my favorites were going to die. And I mean, we're all right as well. Say so I won't totally spoil this, but I was extremely happy. Like I feel like all of the characters at the end of it have a chance at happiness. Um, I would have liked to see more of the epilogue, like a longer ending, just because I love court politics. I things that I liked in the previous two books were. I love the part where they're trying to set up the hospital and set up the politics and settle the politics like Ali and Nari together and I would have really liked to see more of that at the end and I mean this is a 750 page book um I don't know how much longer I would have liked it to be 800 pages to just have another 50 pages of showing life after the end like I don't love showing you exactly how people's lives went after like exactly what happened but i do i would have liked a bit more um personally but that's just because i'm i care so much for the characters and i think she ended it really well and everyone everyone was where i wanted them to end up which means that i would have liked to see more of them but i can imagine that if you don't love the general direction of what or don't love the specifics of what happened at the end, like you could, would like a more open ending to be like, yeah, but it changes this way. Um, I wouldn't want to see them to their deaths either, but I would like to see them like a year or two in um, still. Other than that, this book, so good. I feel with this book and also with the book before, there's a part where I go, ooh, you're introducing a whole lot of new things. I don't... I don't know if this is gonna work and then it does <laughs> like I love there was this part also where I was like oh but I why Tiamat why I don't I don't want Tiamat here I don't want to think about her we have enough going on um so sometimes it's a bit too much I think um it could have been a bit simpler but I the execution is flawless like this is this Beautiful writing, great characters. This is one of my favorite books. <laughs> this series is definitely going down as one of my new favorite series. I adore this. And I would definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I will see you again at some point. Goodbye.